Hello all, here is uh, the promised video where uh, I will show you how to make those um, um, custom-made connection cables you know that I'm using that a lot of you asked about um, because they are such a space saver you know and even if uh, they are on the market you know there are all those um, excellent cables you know uh, none of them has you know this this kind of um, thickness so that you can you know you save a lot of as you can see on my pedal board everything is you know very very compact and I couldn't have done it without using this kind of jacks and I will show you as the video rolls on where to buy those jacks and the cable and I'll show you most of everything you know most of all how to uh, solder the, the pedal train uh, pedal board um, that I'm using t comes with a ton of uh, velcro excellent velcro and as you see this is the leftover velcro <laughs> i that you know that they sent with it uh, again it doesn't come with a voodoo lab power um it just comes with the brackets you know to mount it underneath as in the previous video you know here it is you can see it it comes only with the brackets right not with the pedal itself the pedal you have to purchase it separately but as you see it has a ton of uh, connections you know that you can use for your pedals to power this it is up. as as you know this is the junior uh, pedal train junior I got it from uh, gapkits.com uh, there's the link on uh, on this video that you can buy it from uh, them it's very cheap and excellent quality uh, so here we go first thing I do I measure the length of the cable I just take the cable itself or simply I just take, for instance, from my tuner to my overdrive, right? So I just measure it out somehow, all right? This is my length, and then just cut it. Simply cut it there, and just maybe add a half an inch more just to make sure that you have enough, uh, enough length, you know? So I'll show you how this jack sh uh, looks when it's, um, you know, taken apart here it is so it's nothing more but two connectors you know the body of the jack is the ground and that little connector there it's the tip That's so all. I'm gonna score the plastic on the surface just slightly don't score it too hard so you don't you know cut through the the thing and so I'll just pull it off like that as you see it has all this braiding which is the ground the shield very important don't use unshielded cable for your inner connect uh, to interconnect your pedals you're gonna have all the buzz in the world and then I'll just uh, twist it just like that okay uh, I'm using my soldering iron to melt the core insulation so that I don't because if I would use my I don't want to score it because that's a recipe for disaster in terms of where you score if you score the, the 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 wire inside that you know that can break with time very easily so just to make sure I'm just using my you know soldering iron to um, cut through that um, to get the insulation down. So all I do now, I'm going to take a little solder, you know, right there, and just apply, just coat, you know, my um, connectors, my um, exposed wires, the ground, the shield wire, and the core wire with solder. So that then it's easier to just solder it on to my um, jack there you go okay now what I want to do is measure a good length you know for the cable to reach my tip and I would see this this is a little too long so I would take off a little more of that insulation don't take too much so that they are not you know by any chance the ground would uh, short circuit the, the tip because then you have a short 
short cut it, um, you know, cable and that's unusable. So anyway, here we go. This is a little too long. I'm gonna cut it down and then, oh, I wish I would have had that. Oh, I'll use this. I'm just going to Okay, so as you see, I'm going to just bend that um, the tip wire so that I can thread it through the hole. You know, that will make a good connection. And then I'll just measure this part over here so that I can solder it to it. Now, to solder it, I'll make sure I'm not overwarming the jack or just uh, because that thing in the middle is plastic and that can give in, you know, so don't overheat it. Um, don't keep... So all you have to do, just make sure you quickly apply some of that solder. Okay. There you go. That's all. So I pre-soldered the spot for my shield right there and all I have to do is measure well I already measured it see so all I have to do make sure I thread it through um, I thread through my uh, my core um, wire over there and just solder it that's all and then so I'm done with the tip and what I do I I'll, uh, you can actually turn the tip, believe it or not. So I'm going to turn it away not too much from my... It sounds complicated, but it's really not. The main idea is so that you make sure they don't touch those two, connect, the, the, the shield and the inner connect connection. That's all. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to solder the ground. There you go. Would be nice to have a jig or something to hold it, you know, because it can transfer the heat. So this and is it. All I have to do is just apply. They usually ship it with a um, piece of uh, paper so that you can put it up there. So by mistake, you know, the cover would not touch the middle core, the core of the cable or the tip, because again, that's not good. Anyway, here it is. And all I have to do now, just add the two uh, screws on it. Make sure this thing doesn't fall out. It's just a Insulation, insulating paper keeps everything in place. And there you go, there's my nifty cable. Sometimes uh, I have a vise, you know, I just put uh, my whole jack in the vise and I, you know, press it so that it's easier for me to put the screws on. But that's not critical and again this is just a cable that will stay in one spot I wouldn't use this kind of cable for my guitar because a guitar for a uh, cable for uh, a guitar cable it's worked out you know you pull it out a couple times a day you push it back in but like for this one you just plug it into your pedal and you leave it there because it's on your pedal board unless you're replacing your pedals daily which I would not recommend and to be honest, folks, that's all it is with. That's a neat way of making interconnect cables so that you can basically, you literally save up space for another pedal on your uh, pedal board. Because look at that thin, see, see how thin it is as, you know, compared to a regular um, even the solders, uh, the, those cables that you don't need to solder, they are still thick, you know. Um, but that's the, so these are the cables I'm using. So really, it's not too much to it.